couple, they had three children. They had the same genetic problem, the three of them. Every time the doctor said, oh, uh, it doesn't seem that you will be carrying the same genetic thing again. And they tried again and again. But unfortunately, the three children they had, they all had the same genetic problem. That they would die before the age of 20, all of them. And they constantly needed blood transfusions. So this, the elder daughter, when she comes there, it's a story from America. So there was a Thanksgiving ceremony going on in the school. There was a Thanksgiving day. So this young girl, she was asked, all the students in the class were giving thanks, writing the notes whom they would thank today. So some children said they thank their parents, they gave so many toys to them. Some said they thank our teachers who love us. This girl who was suffering from this disease and she knew she would die, that she would die before the age of 20. She can die any time, any moment. She knew that. And she knew her siblings also had the same problem because they all used to go for blood transfusions almost every fortnightly. All of the three together, mother and parents, they used to take them. But she had trained her children with so much love and care. They were fearless. She wrote in her thanksgiving letter, she said, I thank God for such a good health he has given me. The teacher was shocked to read this. Yes. When the child wrote that God has given me such a good health, the teacher called the mother and told her, your daughter has written this Thanksgiving note. So the mother, she asked the daughter, and the daughter was 12 years old at that time. She asked the daughter that, you know, you are suffering. You have, you have to go for blood transfusions. And yet you have written that you thank God for such a good health he has given. She said, yes, mom. Because you see, when I go for the blood transfusions, I see children, those who have cancer, they are suffering so much. Children, they have got some ailments, they come for blood transfusion, they have been amputated, they don't have a hand or they don't have a leg. And they are suffering much, much more than me. I am still healthy after transfusions. Though I have to go, I know, any moment. So she said, anybody, everybody has to go that. And then... That's why I thank God that he has given me good health. I am healthy. I can go around. I can enjoy the world. I am fine. After blood transfusions, I am oh, absolutely fine. So the mother was actually in tears. She said, yes, you are really, you have achieved the mercy of God. This is how when we see the positivity in our life, that's how we learn from such stories. And it's a true story. That parent, that mother, she writes her experiences that she lost her three kids and yet she was smiling. The people used to ask her, how can you be so happy and smiling when you have lost your three kids? So she said, my children before going, they taught me. They have taught me the happiness, the faith in God. They taught me all. And they went away very peacefully. Her three children, she has described how they died one after the other. And they went very peacefully, she said. So that is how she said, they have given me the faith in God. This is how we learn the positive positivity in life. The spiritual life is full of optimism. 